As school districts prepare to reopen, many are asking for protections from lawsuits if a student or staff member blames them for getting COVID-19. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin explains why districts worry without protections, the school year will be disrupted by legal challenges. School districts have a lot on their plate as some prepare to reopen schools this fall. One concern weighing on them is what happens if someone catches COVID-19 and then later on files a lawsuit alleging the district didn't do enough to protect them. This is why schools are asking lawmakers for immunity in these situations. These are simply about flexibility uh, that we need and some considerations we need in this extraordinary circumstance. The Wisconsin Association of School District Administrators says proving someone got sick at school is hard, but expects some will still seek legal action. Without liability protections, school administrators say lawsuits would be a distraction. Uh, spending time in litigation is a diversion uh, away from uh, concentrating on students, which is where they want to put their focus. Congress is considering adding protections for businesses and schools in the next relief package. Supporters say it would be limited to the pandemic. It's not meant to prevent someone's ability from suing an employer or school district. If someone contracts the virus and the district has done all it can possibly do to maintain a safe environment, then they ought not be um, subject to litigation. If immunity is not passed on the federal level, schools and businesses want state lawmakers to take action. But the chances of the legislature returning to session are slim as lawmakers are already adjourned for the year. They don't typically come back um, in August or September or October of an election year. In Madison, Emily Fannin, 27 News. Right now, Congress has yet to finalize what protections would look like, but labor advocacy groups worry these protections could prevent businesses or schools from being held accountable if they are not doing enough to prevent the spread of COVID-19.